Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send short form submissions to Telegram. So imagine this, you are running a business along with your friends on internet. So you're using short form to generate leads about potential customers. Uh, let's say a lead called as John has been generated from your short form. You have John's name, email address and all those details. So you want to notify your team members or your friends about this potential lead on Telegram. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you can copy all the details of John sort it out and manually send it on telegram the problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome so in cases like these i would suggest that you bring in some automation so here when a new form is submitted it will automatically send a message on telegram so in this video we will be using pabby connect to integrate jot form and telegram the best part of using pabby connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge it can be done easily let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of pabli connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in pabli connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where you can try this integration absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Jot Form to Telegram. Jot Form to Telegram. And then just click on Create. Okay, so when you click on Create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the Trigger Window. So in the Choose app, how about we make it as Jot Form. Jot Form. Because we want to send the data from Jot Form. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response. Okay, so new response is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is created in jot form, then what action should be taken by the system? Now in this case, we only have one trigger event, that is new response. Now if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabri.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new response is made in jot form. So basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate jot form to pabri connect. So let's have a visit to jot form. So this is my jot form account. So as you can see, these are the forms I have in my jot form. Now I want to integrate this particular form to Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this form and just click on edit form. Okay, so this is the edit page of my form. So as you can see, I have uh, entered some few fields like name, age, email and contact number. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on settings, click here, and then I'm going to click on integrations, click this. Okay, so in the integrations, you have to look for webhooks. Just uh, type WE webhooks. Okay, so this is the webhook you want. Just click this. Okay, so first of all, we have to enter a URL. So first of all, just uh, remove this HTTP part. And let me go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have added the webhook. So just click on complete integration. Okay, so it is uh, trying, to, trying to process. So it will take a while to integrate with your jot form. Excellent. So at this point, we have integrated this particular form, this particular form to Pabli Connect. So let me just go to uh, click on finish and let me just click on publish. Okay, so this form is now integrated with Pabli Connect. So basically, this means that any time new registration or a new entry is made in this particular form, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and let me just click on this button, capture webhook response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jot form. Okay, I'm just going to copy this link and I'm going to open the form in a new tab. Okay, so imagine this a person is filling in his detail. So the kids registration form. So these are the details. So the name of the kid is Aaron Manuel. So his age is uh, six years 
And this is his uh, email address, Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. And this is his contact number. So let me just uh, click on submit. Okay. So form submission has been made. So let me go to Papri Connect and check whether data has been captured. Yes, the data has been captured. Okay, so these are the details. So we have the first name that is Aaron. The last name is Manuel. This is the age and this is the email. And of course, this is the contact number. So basically, we have to notify your team members about this newly generated lead on Telegram. So to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Telegram. Telegram. Now in the action event, how about we make it as send a message or a reply. Send a message or a reply is an action event. There are many more action events like edit a text, forward a message, unpin a message, send a photo and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepapri.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send the data or the message via Telegram. So let me just click on connect with Telegram. In the new credentials, we have to fill in the token. So to get the token, let's have a visit to Telegram. Okay, so this is my Telegram account. So to begin the process here, first of all, type bot father. Bot father. Okay, this one. Okay, so first of all, we are going to create a new bot. So I'm going to type it as slash new bot. Okay. Okay, so the bot father is replying, all right, a new bot. So what, are, what is the name that we are going to give it? So I'm going to give it as public connect. Public connect integrations four. Okay, so this is the name public connect integration four. So let me just press enter. Okay, so we have to give a username. So I'm going to give the username to this bot as jot form jot form to telegram underscore bot and just press enter. Okay, excellent. So the bot father is uh, sending me the message that this uh, username is acceptable. So once uh, this uh, username is accepted by the bot father, it's generated to token. So this is the token we want. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. This is the token we want and just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a message in Telegram from the data that we have received from JotForm via Public Connect. So first of all, we have to figure out what is our chat ID. So basically, chat ID is the individual ID of your group in Telegram. So basically, we are going to create a new group. So let me just create a new group. I'm going to press on these three horizontal bar, click on new group. Okay, so I'm going to add my bot into this group first. Okay, so this is the bot name, Public Connect Integrations 4 integration for this one click on next okay so i'm going to give a name to this group jot form leads okay so let me just click on create a group okay so a group called as jot form leads has been created excellent so my next step is i'm going to bestow admin privileges to my bot so there is something you should know that uh, bestowing the admin privileges to your bot in web version of Telegram is not possible. You actually have to download the app in your desktop or your mobile. So currently I'm using the app version in of uh, the desktop version of the app. So this is the group JotForm Lead. And these are the two members I have. One is me and other one is my bot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click this and I'm just going to click on promote to admin. Okay, so a window appears in front of you. So in the custom title, just uh, type admin. Okay, because we want to promote this bot as admin. So let me just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, the admin is now the bot. Okay, so the bot has been made as the admin and it is showing it as it has access to message. So as you can see, this is the admin rights of my bot. Excellent. So I'm going to minimize the desktop version of this app. Okay, I have minimized this. Okay, so at present, there are two members. One is me as well as other one is my bot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some more members. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to invite some members. So this person, Sujata Ahirwar, is uh, my friend. Okay, so I'm going to add her into my group. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's still showing two members. So when I click on refresh, we will find there are three members in the group. So this is the group jot form leads and we have three members. Okay, so now we are going to figure out our chat ID. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy these uh, characters. Okay, so I have copied this and I'm going to paste it here. 
okay so i have pasted the characters okay so this is the characters that we have copied and then i have pasted it here excellent so this is not the complete chat id so bring your attention to this part message to private channel so as you can see this is the chat id the complete chat id so all we have to do is enter this minus 100 in front of these characters so our chat id will be ready okay i repeat again all you have to do is enter minus 100 in front of uh, these characters so that we get the complete chat id so our chat id is ready now coming to the message let's start mapping so let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button so when we click this we will find all the data that we have received from chart form so in the text message how about we type uh, new lead new lead generated new lead generated let's make it as capital okay so after i have uh, typed a new lead generated what i'm going to do here is i'm going to enter slash n so basically the purpose of a slash n is very simple it's going to create a new line so slash n it is and uh, i'm going to type in the name so the name is aaron okay enter a space and type manual map manual okay okay so our name is ready and in the next line to, to create a next line we are going to uh, map the email address so this is the email address i think this is the email address okay and in the next line for the next line we are going to again type slash n in the next line we are going to type the h so this is the h okay and in the next line slash n we are going to map in the contact so this is the contact okay so we have uh, mapped all the details this is the full name this is the email this is uh, the age and this is the contact excellent so in the parse mode let's keep it as html in the disable notification let's keep it as no in the disable link preview let's keep it as no so when i click on save and send test request it will send this data to telegram so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent to telegram so let's have a look okay so this is uh, the message new lead generated this is aaron manual this is the email aaron manual 1991 at the rate the age is six and this is the phone number excellent so the presence of uh, this data shows that we have successfully integrated jot form and telegram with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that let me take you to public connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm going to minimize my action window and i'm going to minimize my trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated jot form to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to telegram so now there's a perfect flow of data between jot form and telegram okay excellent so what i'm going to do here is i'm going back to my jot form okay so i'm going to uh, copy this link open this in a new tab and fill some more details okay so this time we are going with tom cruise so the name is tom the last name is cruise tom cruise is uh, 14 years and this is his email address and this is his contact details so let me just click on submit okay so submission has been made in jot form so let's have a look in telegram do we have uh, the notification of uh, newly generated lead called as tom cruise yes we do have the lead that is tom cruise tom cruise 1234 at the rate gmail.com this is the age and this is the phone number excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine so this means anytime a new submission is made in jot form it will be reflected as a message in in telegram not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks